Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the Stockswish.com, and welcome. Welcome to Racks. Uh, Racks gapped actually this morning, and I knew it would be tough to get out of the gate, although I knew it was a short. It actually was not as whippy as I thought it was going to be. Fancy that. But let's look at the one minute chart. This is another one that's lower, actually. Let me just get to the beginning of the day here. So, if I had done this aggressively, I would have been popped out. And I still would have done it if I had wanted to. Instead, I watched something else this morning. But if I had wanted to do this aggressively here this morning, I would have been popped out. So, I chose to do something else out of the gate today. As it turns out, that was perfectly fine because if I had aggressively gone after this, I would have got stopped out. You do need to give yourself retakes. You know, you do. Anyways, then this came up here. You, this would have been crazy aggressive to short it into this area, but you could have done it. And, and actually, if you had done it, it paid. But this wasn't the call. This was the call. And actually, in the moment I said this is a kamikaze play, <laughs> people are going to start to take kamikaze plays seriously in the room now, which is hilarious. But really, sometimes when I go back, I call it kamikaze because it doesn't set up normal. I think that's the reason I named some of these things kamikazes, because it's not normal, but I see it. And what I see, I sometimes cannot explain except for I see it. And then when I go back, I can explain it after I afterwards. I don't know if that makes any sense. In other words, in the live time when I'm seeing the trade set up, I'll scream kamikaze because I know that it's setting up. But it's not a normal setup. It's not something that anyone would should do unless they actually know how to reprice. Because I do, I see it. I see it doing it in the real life moment. But... It's like I don't have time to explain it, and it's not a normal setup, and I don't think it's things that people should do unless they know how to reprice like me. It's a kamikaze. It's something that's hard to see, but I see it instinctively, and I just call it when I see it. I don't know how to explain that, but it's true. So what happened here was this immediate reversal that happened, and it was a hard reversal after the fact that came in down then. this First this opened, then it went green, then it went red, and then it went green. This was actually green. So the stock here for the low of the day was at 3550 and was up here now at 3724. That that doesn't look good. When you're looking at the actual bar, pretend you don't see this. Hold on. So everything looks good here. It's weak. Then you get popped out. Now if you're looking at this, wait here. That looks like the stock rallied two dollars because it did. I mean it did rally two dollars, but it actually broke quick, hard, bounce, bounce, and then flip. But it did rally $2 in that five-minute period, and there's no getting around it. And it also happened in the first 15 minutes of the day. It's not the first five, but it was the first 15 minutes. It's outside of the first five, but it was the first 15 minutes. So the fact is, if you're looking at this, if you squish that together, in fact, let me look at the first now. See, you're just going to have to imagine it. This looks like a green bar on the daily at this moment, and it is. So there you have it. So you know, again, you wouldn't be able to go after this right away. You have to look and see what it looks like as it's setting up, and now it's fixing itself, and it does it fast. And so I liked it. So what happened is here the stock got sold off aggressively then into the number, into the resistance, and then came down. So then I called this play. Actually, I don't think it went over there the whole day. Let me look. It didn't. No, it didn't the whole day. Wow. People are going to start to take my kamikaze calls seriously, aren't they? So then by the time it got underway and broke here, this was late still here too, I, I called another trade and the stop was over 35 and it was a fairly big stop. I actually called it in the five minutes. It was a bigger stop than this on the one. But I, I knew that it was going to 33, and this actually did go to 33. It actually broke 33. Look at that. Huge. So it ran $2 from a late entry that I called, and it actually ran more than $3 from this, what I screamed at the real live moment was a kamikaze. Pretty incredible. And actually, this is one of these ones where you could have kept lowering the stop and lowering the stop and lowering the stop and lowering the stop and lowering the stop. And if you had done that, you could you, you would have been in it. You would have stayed in it till, till the low of the day. Beautiful. 
So let's look at the bigger picture here in racks and just see what of it. This continues tomorrow, or is this selling off here now? Hold on. Sold off a little bit post market. I think this continues tomorrow. This is either going to continue, this is either going to gap down tomorrow, or it's going to open probably neutral a little bit above the close of today and then break again. This is this is another red day in it tomorrow. This is, this is an overnight. You could have done this overnight, actually. I don't see this not working tomorrow, basically, no matter what happens. So this this is already underway. I mean, this has been underway for a while. This is if you, this has been underway for a while. So to get into this short now is late. You just have to have a different position and stop and entry wise. But it's still lower. It's confirming it on the gap today. It broke everything through. Went to the dream target for the day trade, and and still is lower. And it's going to fall through tomorrow. And tomorrow, I mean, you have to have some realistic targets tomorrow because of the move it made today. So let's just say 31, 30, 80 ish. Is a realistic target tomorrow, and a dollar in racks is nothing. So I think that's very realistic. Although I really think this is still lower. I just don't think it gets there cleanly. I think this could wiggle and jiggle and wiggle and jiggle and wiggle and jiggle till it gets and breaks down again. But I do think it's lower. It's just not as clean of a short as some of the ones that are at the new areas where they're just getting going. Because this has been on its way down now here for quite some time. But it's not in good shape. Whatever's going on with this, chart's definitely lower. So, yeah, why do I call those kamikazes? Because it's not a normal, because I'm reading the price. That's why, that's why I say that. Because I'm not, there's no candlestick setup. That's why I'm doing that. It's a price call, which is actually something that, you know, more and more and more and more and more, I'm going to be doing. I, I'm going to do them. I mean, I am doing them. I am doing them, but I'm going to be doing them more because that is the way to train and, and I see it. I see it in what's happening in the real life moment. I see when it's happening in the real life moment. And, and candlesticks help you know what to do before the trade's setting up. So you know what to do as like a little bit before it's setting up to get it. But, you know, with price, sometimes you don't know until the live moment that it does it. And then you see it and you take it and you know it's good. And you have the conviction because of what it's doing with the price. So the kamikaze plays are price calls. They're not calls based on candlestick formations. There, I just made up a, another thing. I mean, I've been calling them kamikazes, but I guess I never realized why. It's because I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the price in the real life moment, and I'm reading it. I'm seeing the price is lower in the shorts or or higher in the longs when I when I do call them in the room. And there it is. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. This is Rax. Beautiful, beautiful down move in this thing today. Uh, actually worked one of the best today. Actually, this gets an A++. Dream target. Beautiful move. Again, why you have to allow retakes? And, uh, and, it, and it had the kamikaze. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you'd like more information on the next Gap course, email me. It's February 22nd and 23rd. Email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.